a great day throughout the UP just to explore the wonderful outdoors. 79 degrees, partly cloudy, humidity down to 36%. No better way to do it. And you can thank that cold front yesterday for finally bringing some drier air. Winds out of the west northwest at 10 miles per hour. Just perfect all around just to do those great out activities outside. Just make sure to stay hydrated though. Temperatures are a bit on the warm side, especially along the Wisconsin border at 82 degrees in Crystal Falls, 80 in Ironwood. And if you want a bit of a relief, Houghton is where it's at, 62 degrees. Towards the east, we see a little bit of a dip as well in Munising at 73 degrees. But overall, those 70s are just very abundant all throughout the region. Winds coming out of a northerly direction thanks to that cold front that slid through last night. Out of the north at 6 in Iron Mountain, 12 in Houghton, and even a little bit more out of the west at 9 in Munising. So overall, for the next couple of days, we're going to keep it relatively quiet. We may have a very small chance of rain later on tonight, especially into early tomorrow morning, but that's about it. Real changes when it comes to the weather will actually take place throughout the weekend, so you may want to bring that rain gear for that time period. Temperatures are also going to take a tumble as well. We're actually going to go from above average to slightly below average for the middle and latter portion of July. So when driving down the road, you always wonder why those Thermometers near the banks are usually warmer than what it usually says outside, and it's because of the fact that the sunshine hits the pavement and then it actually bounces, it reflects its way back towards the sensor and it kind of adds a couple of those degrees extra. So just a little bit misleading, but that's why usually you see a higher number than what it's normally outside. So a bit of a fun fact. Overall, the great weather dominated through a good chunk of the Great Lakes. Excellent hump day weather. Now, unfortunately, in Minnesota, the weather for them is just crumbling. Good amount of thunderstorms brewing as we speak, thanks to that daytime heating of the afternoon, and that extends into parts of South Dakota as well. So the Twin Cities starting to get rocked with a bit of those showers and storms. Some of those showers will make our way towards our neck of our woods later on tonight, but because of that daytime heating being lost, we're going to be dealing with more than just a couple of stray showers pushing through the area. Overall, though, high pressure very strong is bringing a good amount of heat for the northern half of the country. So very little changes as we push into Thursday. If you are going to continue to do outdoor activities, make sure to do them safely. Wear light colored clothing, also wear a cap, also have that sunscreen and make sure to have that water bottle. Just make sure to replenish yourself every couple of moments that you can just to avoid some heat exhaustion. Now, when it comes towards the thunderstorms, it's going to be towards lower Michigan, but for us, the relatively dry day. Continuing into Friday, the good times are rolling through. It's really not until late Friday night we begin to see the bigger change as we push towards the weekend. We introduce a good amount of cloudiness, and that's going to stick around all the way through Sunday. For tonight, just that small chance of rain, especially more so towards tomorrow morning, 56 degrees. Winds out of the south at 5 miles per hour. And tomorrow's just going to be a great one, terrific all around. Temperatures 75 degrees in Houghton, 84 in Crystal Falls. Just sunny galore, and it's going to be here to stay, not just for Thursday, but also for Friday, 78 degrees. And then the cool down takes place towards the weekend, 68 on Sunday, warming up to 70 on Monday. And by then, sunshine finally breaks through prominently.